everyone. Welcome to the UBD Weekly Wrap-Up, the show where the team from UrbanVinylDaily.com goes over everything there is to know in the designer toy, art, street art, and Safubi world. I'm your host, Travis Likens. And I'm Ben Pierce. And we are here for episode 16, which we have entitled Our Super si- <laughs> Our Super Sweet 16. There you go. So Buy me a car, daddy. Man, I wish somebody would buy me a car right now. That'd be pretty sweet. But uh, first off, LL Cool J to perform at my 16th birthday. LL Cool J. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but first off, we want to thank our sponsors. Uh, we have Strange Cat Toys. Gallery F. Martian Toys. And Rotofugi. So if you're looking for any kind of designer toys or art related items, make sure to check out those stores. Um, we threw all their websites there. We'll have them in the, in the show notes as well. So make sure to check them out. Lots of good people doing lots of good things and providing everybody in the scene with lots of awesome things to buy. So make sure to check them out. Uh, but we want to roll into toy news with Ben's first. And we're going we're gonna to start out on a high note. If you love the Uzi Does It from OG Slick and Silent Stage Gallery, kind of expensive, but amazing to look at, you now have a, another chance to buy something if you can afford it or if you just want to hoard all these that OG Slick and Silent Stage have come together to, buy, to get the Mother Chucka Murdered Out Edition, which is effectively an Astro Boy with a Molotov cocktail. And so these are addition of thirty and twelve hundred dollars. And so provide the link here, and yep. you can go buy yourself one. And they're resin and fairly tall looking from the photo, mm-hmm. and a great cap to any kind of art collection. So if you're you know an art more of an art collector than just say a toy collector, this is right up your alley. So mm-hmm. um, make sure to grab one of those before they are gone. So uh, next up, we do have news from Rotofugi. Uh, they have announced that they have the um vag artist series eight back in stock or now in stock and uh, that's medicom's uh, vinyl artist gotcha series which are the little guys that are they're little guys that come in like a little plastic ball um oftentimes bought in japan if you don't know what gotchas are uh but this news this new series of figures includes four designs which include five colorways of each figure so kind of a collector nightmare uh but they look really cool. Um, they sell out relatively fast, and uh, they're sold either as one, or you can buy five of the designs all at once, and you'll get all five colors. Uh, but they're about eight ninety five a piece, so relatively cheap and re- fun. I think they're about two inches or so, so it's a fun little thing and uh, kind of a. I feel like Gotch would work with work with Pokemon. You're like Gotcha, Pokemon. Gotcha, Gotcha. You, toss gotcha. A little, you just toss a little ball. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha, Pikachu. So uh, if you're a fan of Pokemon, this is kind of similar. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. No, nope, not at all. So uh, that's all I got on that piece. It's a pretty fun little series, so I'm hoping to pick up some myself. Okay. Next up is something that's currently on pre-order and ships in October is the Tuma and Bic Plastic Status of Liberty. So uh, effectively, it's the Statue of Liberty with Tuma's take on it. And they are 10 inches tall. And the first colorway that comes out is the Iron Green Patina Edition. So similar to what the Statue of Liberty looks like. Yep. The piece had the torch and it has a shield on it. And so $90 and we'll ship in October. So check out our website and you can uh, contact the person accordingly to reserve one. Yep. So next up on the list is another pre-order, this time coming from John Paul Kaiser, Huck G and Pober Toys. It's the Skull Samurai, which is a figure that's based on Huck's original skull head. And then JPK kind of took it and made it into like a samurai looking guy. Uh, these originally went up for, up for sale at STGCC, uh, and they uh, sold out there, but they did keep some back for, um, I don't know if they're back, but they're, they're releasing them, I guess, is what we should say. And uh, the figure is nine inches tall, made out of vinyl, features five por- points of articulation. Um, let's see here. It also has a removable katana. Ooh. Pretty cool. And uh, the figure is $100 each, and pre-orders are currently going on on pober.bigcartel.com. So uh, make sure to head over there and reserve yours before they are gone. I'm highly sure that, considering it's JPK and Huckgee together, these are not going to last long. So plop your $100 down and make sure you get one, and you don't have to pay those flipper prices. Which with the Huckgee stuff, Huck stuff, there was also the Gold Life, which I think is scarcely available at a couple different retailers. So. Yep. Hunt those down too. Strange Cat Toys, check them out. They've got them up for pre-order right now. Exactly. Um, so I th- I guess the rest of my news for the toys, um, 
starts to delve into an event that we see in two weeks in New York City. And it's a Comic-Con. So it's New York Comic-Con. Or NYCC. So the first up is if you've been checking out the blog that DKE kicked off their release or their information with the first wave of carded figures that they start talking about. And so out of that wave is Manly Art, which is also Jake and Jason Chalker, Dollar Slice Bootlegs, Special Ed, and Killer Bootleg Toys. So you can check out the, the blog to see the first wave of releases and their availability and how much they're going to cost you. Yeah, lots of cool pieces there. Um, always a lot of fun with DKE's uh, series of bootlegs. A lot of tongue-in-cheek laughing and going back and forth. But make sure to stop by. What's the booth number? Did we write that down? I didn't. I didn't either. So it's, uh, it's on each of the informational yep. pictures. So make sure to check it out. Um, wish we were there. That's all I can say. <laughs> Someone can fly us out. Yeah. Oh, you, I, have wanna, wet, I have a wedding to attend. If but. you want to uh, drop us a, a giant check, you can send us out there. <laughs> yeah. Next up, then, what's up? You got oh. the list, remember? Oh, I've, I, I thought you had more stuff. but yep. All right. I guess continuing on with NYCC, Tenacious Toys has released their first Wave. few, their <laughs> few, their first few waves of information, and so uh, toys and stuff have come from <laughs> toys and stuff, toys and stuff, toys it's, and stuff. It's a good umbrella term. Stuff. So Big C has a resin figure, the baby in, fats. It, in the Tenacious Blue edition. Yeah, uh, Catatomic has a, a handful of different size customs. Dollar Slice Bootlegs has some bootleg carded figures. Uh, Evilos has a custom painted pop figure, I believe. Yep. And uh, Jason Means and a few others ha- round out the list of uh, toys that we've seen so far. Yep. And uh, the next thing from uh, Tenacious Toys is actually that Forces of Darkness is teaming up with them to release his Bart 2 D2 which is a resin smash up of the Simpsons and uh, R2-D2. Which you could have learned about with our recent interview. Yeah, so the figure it comes bagged and carded and uh, features a myriad of different colorways, um, all handmade and painted by one and only Forces or O Dorkness. So make sure to stop by the Tenacious, booth, Tenacious Toys booth number 308 and check out everything they have to offer there. I'm sure we'll have more info as the show gets closer e- even more. So <laughs> rounding out our NYCC coverage for this episode is Clutter has a five inch collaboration with Scott Wolkowski in his infected figure with the brand new five inch Dunny platform. Yeah. They'll have two different colorways. So it's the lavender and the sour green apple and it's pieces of a hundred for, uh, I think it's $175. Yeah, that sounds about right. And so their plan is to have 50 of each colorway at the booth which wow, they're... 50. I did not know there was that many of each one. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so th- there's 100 total of each. Wow, that's and awesome. And so 50 of each colorway will be at the booth, which they're allowing people to pre-order to pick up at the booth. And so the remaining 50 of each colorway that are not at the booth will be put up at a later date online for people who did not attend F- or NYCC. That's a great chance for uh, people to get a really awesome looking piece. Um, th- I think that size is like perfect too for the for the infected because it's mm-hmm. a little bit bigger than the three inch, so you can really see the detail. But it's not quite as big as the eight inch, which um, gets relatively expensive yeah. if they do that. And that's you know, with it, so. something that Cluttered pointed out in their press release was just the scale of the three inch compared to the five inch. It just looks monstrous. Yeah, and I, uh, the five inch Dunny. I don't know if you guys have seen these in person. They they're they're a good size. Like I really like the shape of them and the size of them. Um, I'll be really interested to see these. I'd like to see one in person. Maybe we can grab one. Um, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next up, though, we're gonna roll into art news, starting with Monk One has released his. 311 uh, AP prints from the June 29th and 30th date, which was at Salt Lake City uh, for the recent tour. And uh, actually he has, let me get this a little closer to me because it's kind of small, but he has a myriad, I guess would be the best word yes, to use here. a cornucopia. Of uh, versions of these two posters that are available. Uh, one being the show color. So if you you know want the original color that he released at the show, that'll be available. Um, he'll also have the orange ink variant of the of the posters. Uh, he'll have the white lenticular colorway, the orange lenticular colorway, the gold foil edition, and a special uncut wood print edition uh, that features both 
of the posters together to make one picture, which is always really cool when they do that. It seems like that makes shipping expensive if it's a, a wood uncut piece. Yeah, I know. I was kind of, it was the details on that piece was are a little vague, at least in the press release, but it sounds really cool. And it was really cool because they showed a picture of it together. So I, I, I'm not exactly sure how big that is, um, but if it's the size of a poster, it's going to be relatively large. So Times two. Yeah, so th- all of those colorways are currently available at shop.invisibleindustries.com. So if you're a fan of 311 um, or Monk One, these are really good examples of his print work, and I really think they look cool. So make sure to check them out. All I have is events left. Oh, you only have events left. So the uh, next piece we have actually took place in our kind of backyard, and we unfortunately were not able to make it down. Uh, but the duo the london police actually painted a new mural in covington kentucky uh and it features you know the lad and a dog that has like a little space helmet on and there's like lads coming out of like a spaceship door in the front of it i mean it's it's pretty awesome and it's really cool to see um a mural of this scale right here um you know not too far away from where we live so um, if you happen to be in Cincinnati and you want to make it, a, make your way over to Covington, or if you happen to be in Co- Covington or Newport or any of those places right um, over the bridge in Cincinnati, uh, make sure to stop by. It's uh, right there across from the, what's the name of that bridge with the suspension bridge that's over there? Do you know, Ben? Roebling? Yeah, that one. It's right across the, the end of the uh, bridge there. Right when you get off the, the bridge, you go up mm-hmm. a little turn on the road yeah. and boom, there it is. So. so- I, I think there might have been a print release or two coupled with this. They didn't really um, advertise it. I know that I saw pictures of people like them signing stuff. Yeah, I'm so not that, sure if they released or not. So that maybe in the future. So yeah, that's, but that's coming from BLDG. Um, the the mural actually was, um, I believe, the city of Covington actually brought them there. But the mural, the print release is through B, BLDG. So hopefully, we find out more information and we can post that once we learn more. Mm-hmm. So always good those guys being around. Yeah, they're fun people. So on to events. Yeah. So an event that opened up, I guess, whenever this ends up get, getting posted, it opened up on September 24th between uh, Frank Montana and Whoop Bear Gallery in San Francisco. The Welcome Feast features a lot of custom pieces by Frank and is a, open until October 24th. Okay. So if you happen to be in the area, make sure to stop by and check that out. Um, continuing event news, we have kind of a event experience. Like a Jimi Hendrix experience. Event coverage. I don't know what we want to call this. We've never done this section of the show. But we were this weekend. I went down to Cincinnati Comic Expo 2016 and uh, kind of walked around and checked out everything. And, uh, you know, saw some really awesome, like, vintage toys and stuff like that. Not a lot of designer toys at Cincy Comic Expo. It's it's more entertainment, comic, and toy focused, like collectible action figures and whatnot. Um, but there was one guy there. Only one guy. Well, well, there might have been more, a little more designer toy, but the only one I really saw having a booth was Jellico. That is J E L L Y K O E. J E L L O. And if you know the work of Jellico, he does a lot of um, original works uh, utilizing his like little monster characters and stuff like that. But he also does um, some pop culture themed stuff. And I picked up a few things while I was there. Um, I actually picked up an. X Files inspired piece, and I don't know if this is reflecting as off of the lights as we do this, but hopefully it's not. Um, if not, I'll take some photos. But uh, the X Files piece I got actually has uh, Mulder and Scully kind of like out searching for an alien that's kind of creeping behind them. Um, I picked up a Harry Potter version for Harry my, Potter for my girlfriend. Features the the crew standing there with Haggard, so it's you know, pretty cool looking little artwork. He does a great job stylizing the characters, um, and it's not necessarily just um, it's just a cute way to do it. It's not just straight up. Here's Harry Potter. You know. You also picked up a Stranger Things. Yeah, I got a Stranger Things one too. I actually have that one hanging on the wall already, so I couldn't take it off the wall to bring it in here. But could have. I could have, but I didn't. And uh, that one's uh, really cool as well. It features the whole little group with uh, Eleven there in the center and the creepy monster kind of hanging out in the background. Um, it's a cool. I like the style. I like the artwork. I like the characters. His original artwork is great as well. He has these little plushes. They're like pillows almost. Those are really cool. Does a lot of handmade plushes as well. Um, we'll show the photos from, I took a lot of photos from it, so we'll show that as well. Um, but Do we you, have any interviews to look forward to? Uh, maybe. Well, hopefully we'll have an interview or so later on with him. 
Um, but if you want to check him out, his Instagram is at Jellyco. Again, that's J E L L Y K U E. Uh, that's on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to check out his items you can buy, you can check out jellyco.storeenvy.com for all of these kind of prints and his original artwork and all kinds of other stuff that he has there. So really cool guy. Make sure to check him out. He'll be at New York Comic Con across the way from Denny at Tenacious Toys. So make sure to stop over when you're checking out uh, Forces of Darkness and other awesome things that are at Denny's booth. So... But I think it kind of wraps up the week. Um, we want to say thank you. We had a good response from our uh, What is a Designer Toy video. We also had a great response from our interview with Scott Kinnebrew last week. Uh, make sure to check it out if you want to learn more about his upcoming show at Guzu Gallery, uh, his releases for New York Comic Con, what his thoughts are on the new Metallica song, and, of course, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. So <laughs> um, check that out over on our YouTube channel under the special topics section. And um, what else we got going on? We got, I'll be possibly visiting Guzu Gallery next week. I might be able to pop by and talk to him. Yeah, get some event coverage and take a, yeah, do like an in-person interview. Take your camera, Ben. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is going on in the world of UVD? We got all kinds of stuff. We got um, information coming about Lunapin soon. Uh, you may have backed our Kickstarter and you're going to receive the free purple one, but we're going to have some more pins for you to check out. We also have an exciting news about Luna. Luna is going to be done this week at the factory. So they, should, so they should be shipping out, um, getting on the boat and making the trip over to America starting early October, which unfortunately means that we will be slightly late delivering Lunas to you. So don't blame us. We were making it perfect for you guys. Yeah, so we're really kind of sad about the fact that they're not going to be shipping to you guys in October. But if all things work out perfect, we should have them start out starting to go out to you by DesignerCon timeframe. So end of November, um, early December, hopefully at the latest if we get flagged by customs. So um, we're still we're trudging our way along there, but we're not too late. But I think the wait is going to be well worth it. As you can see, she came out pretty beautiful, this production sample. Um, it just came out great. We're really excited about it. And we hope that you're going to be just as excited as we are about Luna. So other than that, we don't have a lot of news. We're, we've been, tr we're keeping our head down, making mm -hmm. videos and working on new projects and things like that. Also look out 2017 for a new Kickstarter. Also look out for us at Decon. We're going to be interviewing you yeah. as a fan, as an artist as just a random person on the street. We're going to get your opinion <laughs> on everything. We're going to stick gonna, some toys in your face, be like, what do you think of this? Yeah, and uh, hopefully um, we'll get you guys that can't attend DesignerCon uh, a lot of good coverage and a lot of information from these artists that you are clamoring for that we know. So, <laughs> so hopefully. be sure to send us an email. If you're an artist and you want to talk to us, we don't have to have a specific script. Or if you're a fan and you want to say, hey, my favorite artist has a booth there, go talk to them. So uh, you can send any of that kind of request over to urbanvinyldaily at gmail.com. If you want to keep up with our daily antics, make sure to take out, check out www.urbanvinyldaily.com uh, where we post about all kinds of this kind of stuff, everything that we're up to, any kind of news that we catch throughout the week. That's where we do it. Um, if you want to check us out on Instagram or Twitter, you can find us at, at Urban Vinyl Daily. Uh, we post all kinds of photos like, hey, the, here's the new Stranger Thing that uh, print that I just bought. Um, here's some vintage toys that I just bought. Um, all the way up to here's a release that we didn't have time to post about that we wanted to share with you guys. Uh, you can also check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash urban vinyl daily. You can subscribe to our YouTube videos by following us on youtube.com slash urban vinyl daily. Uh, if you don't want to watch our videos, you'd rather just listen to us. Make sure to check out the token nerd network on iTunes where you will receive the audio versions of our, um, of our videos. Uh, you'll also receive the token nerd podcast and real film geeks as well. So a myriad of uh, exciting content for you guys to check out. Um, but that kind of wraps up the episode. As always, I'm Travis. And I'm Ben. Have a great designer toy day. Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens from Token Nerd Podcast, and I'm here today to tell you something about sponsorship. That's right. Token Nerd now has a sponsor. 
The fine folks at TenaciousToys.com, your source for designer toys, pop vinyl, original art, and more, are now our sponsor. And guess what? As a part of that, you can get 10% off your next order at TenaciousToys.com by entering the code TOKEN10 at checkout. That's right, 10% off. And not only are they giving you this code, they're also going to be sponsoring many of our Token Nerd giveaways in the next coming months. So make sure to follow us at token underscore nerd on Instagram to catch our latest giveaways.